if you love gadgets and love your smartphone, and I know you do, then there's no better place to be than Barcelona, Spain, mid-February every year. World Mobile Congress is the world's largest trade show featuring over 100,000 guests from more than 200 countries. Nokia and HMD Global stole the show at this year's Mobile World Conference with a trip down memory lane. The 3310, modeled after the original which was released in the year 2000, will never really replace our modern smartphones, but it is a great gadget in its own right. It can be used as a backup phone or as a gift for children who are still too young for smartphones. And to top it off, the nostalgic value is huge with the inclusion of Snake. Huawei has followed up last year's P9 camera phone with another winner. The Huawei P10 takes everything that made the P9 desirable, enhances key features, then adds the power that makes this such a compatible business phone. The best part? All this inside a slick, compact smartphone body available in some delicious new colors. The dual lens rear camera gets this phone's second generation Leica hardware and is now tailored to take amazing portrait photos, rather than only landscape and vistas favored by the P9. The P10 is a very modern device and perfectly encapsulates Huawei's growing maturity, attention to trends others are missing, and keenness to listen to feedback from those who use its phones. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S3. This new tablet is proving to be quite an effective challenger for Apple's brand of iPads. With a comfortable new keyboard case and a revamped S Pen, it's well suited for some productivity and artistry right along with web browsing and app use. The Galaxy Tab S3 has a 9.7 inch AMOLED screen with HDR. AMOLED screens have far deeper blacks and richer, more vibrant colors than any other screen type. With quad speakers tuned by AKG by Herman, giving the Tab S3 a serious edge as a portable Netflix machine and a travel buddy. While there is no price or release date yet, it's really cool to see Samsung taking tablets seriously again.